Babe, I'm out of seven inch ribbon tails. Just make some. That's right. I can make them now. What's up guys, welcome back to another Freshwater Bandits video. I know it's been a while, but we've been uh, winterizing our gear and our tackle and obviously you can see from the uh, intro and from the thumbnail, we're getting into making our own soft plastic lures. We have all the store brands and stuff. Actually, I have a few down here. We have all this stuff, which is nice, but you're also paying a lot more for these. So I'm getting into bait making. And as you can see, this is, of course, uh, the Guggen Squad Crack and Crawl Mold. This is a seven inch ribbon tail worm with a really long ribbon. I, I love this worm. And then you have a four inch beaver style bug. So basically what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get into bait making to be more efficient to create our own colors. Uh, we're already naming certain colors specifically for the Bandits channel. Um, in the crawl we have Demon Dog. We have uh, the electric bandit today we're going to be making uh, or attempting to make the blue bandit which is going to be a blue worm with a purple flake in it but I'm going to run these molds we're going to shoot uh, a purple and a blue and we're going to see uh, I'm going to kind of show you guys a little bit of how it's going to go how it's going to work and on top of that we're going to try to have fun so without further ado let's get into bait making guys can see we have the four inch beaver style bug the seven and a half inch ribbon tail and over there is the uh, mold for the Guggen Squad crack and crawl which I'm a huge fan of I had to buy the mold for it uh, however I've ran so many of these since we've gotten all of this that I will not be running any of these today so, I mean, I just wanted to show you the mold. It's a ceramic mold, uh, single shot. You clamp it together, shoot your plastic, and then you wait. So we're not going to be running any of these. We might run a couple of the beavers, but we're predominantly going to run the 7-inch ribbon tail today, uh, especially in that blue bandit. That's going to be a new color that I have not done yet, that I've really, really been anticipating doing. And then we're also going to run the Electric Bandit, which is a purple and blue flake. Uh, and I'm going to go over which baits that we've already agreed on that we're keeping in what style. So that way you guys get to look forward to what you're going to see as far as these molds go so far. So we're going to get into it. I am first going to remelt that purple, and then we are going to shoot in the worm. So you guys hang in there, and we're going to get shooting. All right, guys, so as you can tell, we have my baits that I have made right here that I've ran already in the same color. We're just going to throw those back in there and remelt those. And then we have what I call, I don't know if it's actually called, but what I call a puck. It's plastic that I've already made that has set up. We are also going to remelt this. So I'm using a glass Pyrex cup. Uh, we put the... In this case, we put the actual already made plastic into the Pyrex cup, put it in the microwave, and then we're going to go ahead and melt this down, and we're going to shoot it via a pretty much a steel uh, giant syringe called an injector. Uh, we will be making a color later on, so you guys can see how that process works, but for right now, uh, we're going to remelt this color because I need to run a bunch more of the electric the electric uh, bandit here which is purple and blue flake I've act this is actually based on a Berkeley power bait seven inch worm called electric grape that I have had so much good luck on and you, I don't know if you guys can see the blue in there but I've had so much good luck on that electric grape that I've just absolutely had to uh, go ahead and make my own so we figured out a recipe and we're calling it the electric bandit we're going to go ahead and 
get this going in a worm I want to make a bunch more of these and it's gonna go hand in hand with the blue bandit considering the fact that they are exact opposites so we have the purple with blue flake and then we're gonna have a blue with purple flake uh, obviously I'm gonna show you real quick some of the other colors and what we're calling them uh, obviously we have a let me scoot these back if you hear a dog in the background I'm sorry it's that's my dog but we have I don't know if you guys can see this too well we have a plum apple with blue and black flake right here also ran in the seven inch ribbon tail we have what we are calling the translucent that is right the translucent it looks like a blue bait but it's a clear bait no colorant at all which this is our uh, dead on colorant you add it to the plastic to make the colors this has no colorant in it this is just flake and it turned it blue so we're calling it translucent and then we have no name for this this is a straight chartreuse with silver flake it is extremely bright and I don't know if it translates well on camera but this is an extremely bright and flashy bait and the only reason I wanted to make this is because in Indiana we have very stained murky waters especially uh, throughout the summer so I wanted to make something extremely bright that will catch the eye of anything in the water uh, but we don't have a name for this yet the only thing I know is it only looks good in a uh, 7 inch ribbon tail um, other than that I think that that's it for what we've oh and our last one hang on this is simply this is a uh, based off of a zoom color and a recommendation from one of my buddies this is um, smoke purple so it's lit legitimately the exact same thing as the translucent it's uh, a little different it's obviously translucent uh, more than you know other of my baits but it's got the silver flake and a couple drops of purple colorant this one right here is called purple rain so a couple drops of that straight plastisol and silver flake and we get this smoke purple and it will be coming in uh, different styles of bait we have a three point hang on we have a 3.7 inch this one right here is a 4.7 but we have a 3.7 inch paddle tail swimmer just like this a mold coming and then of course we have our 5 inch uh, Senkos I know you guys can only see my hands and not my face and I'm sorry it's probably better but uh, eventually we're going to get into actually making the baits. But I just want to update you. We do have a 5-inch uh, Senko coming and a 3-inch uh, paddle tail swim bait as well as, um, as well as my worm and crawls. So if you guys have any suggestions on uh, what kind of baits I should make, whether it be a lizard, a grub, uh, anything like that go ahead and drop a comment or comment on the post on Facebook I will see it uh, without further ado we're gonna get into remelting the uh, electric or yeah the electric bandit and then we're going to get into making the blue bandit so you guys hang in there we're gonna get this done right now okay guys so now we have our uh, liquid melted plastic I'm just gonna use a uh, butter knife because that's pretty much all you really need I'm gonna mix this up and please if you guys try this I know most people uh, don't really care to get into this but if you do please work with a ventilated area because this stuff is potent but now you can see in there and you can see the flake coming up and the purple actually uh, working with the flake so we have our plastic hot and our injector is lubricated with worm oil so we're going to come over here draw up and I'll show you the injector here when I get done we're going to shoot it right into the mold 
we're just gonna top off the sprues and extra goes back into the, maybe there we go the extra goes back into here and then we can maybe pop off this top ah oh, there we go so yeah you have the injector which is just a giant syringe that you can see it will draw the plastic up into the cylinder and then you push it down and then you have the injector nozzle right here and this injector I got it uh, I got it off of Amazon. I really need to get a new one because that one's already dying out on me and there should be no reason that an injector dies out on me after a couple months of owning it. But, you know, to each their own, I guess. This is a more or less expensive, but it's a fun hobby to get into, especially the fact that, I mean, I just made two lures uh, and w with this plastic right here and I mean that that's literally all you have to do is you just melt it down throw it into the mold uh, wait two minutes and then that's pretty much it so I will come back on when these are oh if you notice I'm wearing heat resistant gloves if you if you get into this I don't know if anybody out there is going to if you do get into this please safety first because this stuff is 350 or 300 350 degrees it is dangerous I've gotten burnt on my hand it sucks uh, remember your safety but I will come back to you when this is cured and we're ready to open the All right, guys first ever on the bandage channel we are going to open the mold so I can show you guys uh, what we just shot. As you can see, there's the one top there, and then the other top is right here. So you have both tops. So here we go. We're going to open this up. Yeah. And as you can see right here, we have... I'm trying to, like, dance around the camera here, but we have two worms that we just made put that in there put that in there there we have two worms that we just got done making that you watched happen out of this mold we're gonna make uh, a couple more we're gonna shoot a couple more probably maybe the rest of this plastic uh, and then we're going to go ahead and make the new color so you guys hang in there and uh, I'm not gonna show you every bit but I am gonna shoot so uh, you guys hang in there all right, guys. So here we go. This is a second round right here. Bam! Just seeing, especially seeing something you made. Just seeing this, it just makes it look so much better. As you can see right here in this tail, you have a, a hollow point with bubbles. I mean, you could either pop them out. You could scrap that, reshoot it. Uh, me it's just to me it doesn't bother me at all <clears throat> and I know there's probably a professional bait maker is probably gonna yell at me for that one but yeah, as you can see look at this tail right here it got super skewy I don't know if you got it translates on camera or not probably not but it gets it gets skinny however oh that entire bait that entire bait is hollow yeah. Huh. Well, this one's garbage. So that literally just goes back in there. Uh, technically, I shot two molds, or uh, the same mold, but I shot two rounds, is what we call it. Uh, and we got uh, three worms total of that electric bandit. 
So to save time in the video and to save people from being bored, I am going to move on real quick to making uh, making the blue bandit. I'm sorry, this is the electric bandit. Moving on to making the blue bandit. So let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, as you can see, there's our uh, worms. <coughs> there's our excuse me. There's our worms right there. So we're gonna move on to making that blue bandit, and you guys will see how that is done. Okay guys, so right now we have our Pyrex cup here and as you can tell I know uh, it's kind of obvious I don't know why I'm mentioning it, but you can see I'm shooting all of these baits on my pool table But I'm using a piece of cardboard to protect the felt. Uh, I don't have any designated area So I'm just shooting on my pool table for now <coughs> However, I don't know why it was important to say that but you know my video I'll do what I want. We have dead-on plastisol. This is a uh, not the stuff you're supposed to use. This is crawl to blend, which means it's going to be thicker. It's going to sink uh, a lot faster than the other blends. I'm supposed to be using worm blend for shooting ribbon tails. Uh, however, I only bought one gallon because at the time I only had the crack and crawl mold. So we are buying multiple more gallons coming soon. This is all I have left. And you'll see right here as soon as I pour it out. But this is all I have left of this plastisol which is about a uh, three-fourths cup but there you go that gallon smoked it you have the plastisol here uh, obviously it comes out white when you heat it up it becomes clear uh, and then you'll add colorants which we're gonna add a bunch of this to make it opaque make it uh, real real blue and then we have this here which is a small purple glitter how the glitter is starting to work or I'm sorry manly it up the flake uh, the flake is supposed to keep its color when it goes through the heating process or reheating process and I'm using the exact same flake uh, but in blue for the electric bandit however the purple seems to want to turn from purple to silver in heat so we're gonna try this uh, a little bit first and if it wants to go silver, then I'm going to have to try something else or hold off on that. Uh, this is the last of the plastisol we have. So uh, obviously we're going to have to wait a while to get another video in. But I'm going to go heat this up, uh, turn this clear after I mix it up. I need to mix it up. And this is what's good about plastisol. Ready? You see the purple that I used, uh, the purple on the knife that I used to stir up that. Look at this. You just peel it off just like that. Now you have a clean knife. You want to get in there and stir that plastisol. Don't stir it too much because uh, you don't want to make bubbles. Bubbles are bad. You don't want to burn your plastisol either. I learned that the hard way. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the microwave, heat this up, get it clear. And we're going to come back, uh, measure out our stuff, and uh, see if I can make that blue bandit first time ever right here, uh, especially on camera. This is a bait that I am stoked about. I want this bait so bad. It's blue, my favorite color. It's going to be bright. It's going to uh, it's going to shimmer in the water, and it's in a ribbon tail, which is one of my favorite uh, worms to throw. So, you guys hang in there, and I'm trying to make this as quick as possible while showing you every single detail. So, hang in there with me. Uh, it's going to be over soon, I promise. But let's go ahead and make this color. You can see right here we have clear-ish plastic salt. It's steaming. It's hot. Wear gloves. We're gonna give her a stir up. We're gonna check its uh, solidification, or I guess in this case it's liquidification. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. So right now it's still. I want to call this uh, snotty, as you can see. It's it's thick, which means that it's not he uh, heated up all the way. So I'm not gonna mix in this. I'm gonna actually heat it up again. But I just wanted to show you guys that it is uh, turned from white to clear. We're going to put it back in the microwave and then we're going to make the color with the Dead On Plastics liquid colorant, neon blue, and the purple flake. Okay, there we go. Our, put it back in for a minute. Now it's super, super duper hot. We're going to mix it up. There we go. That's, that's the consistency that we want. If you see, it's still thick but it's running now before we shoot this bait 
it'll be end up going back in the microwave again but uh, we're actually going to use this temperature right now to start mixing so usually you go uh, you could go out drop by drop this will drop out bang 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 usually you can go about 40 and that's how opaque it'll come out but you can come in here and just squirt it because I want it to be super super blue you come in here and just squirt it all in you see instantly the color changes uh, with mixing obviously and to tell it's uh, how opaque it is you just lift it up and if you can see uh, the knife if you pick it up off on the knife and you can see the blue that'll tell you about how opaque it is now that doesn't always necessarily transfer uh, completely but it is a good way to go off of I know I'm adding a lot you guys might think it's a bunch but trust me it's you gotta get that color up so you wanna we'll lay it out here see how blue it is and uh, we'll add flake just like this we're gonna take this uh, quarter ounce scooper duper I'm only gonna add a tiny bit just in case this loses its uh, its pop if it loses its shine and that could be because it's not rated for high temperatures if it loses its purple and goes straight to uh, silver then we're gonna have a problem and so far it's keeping its purple but uh, I'm worried about reheat when we put it back into the microwave and it becoming silver that's what I'm worried about I'm also worried about the blue darkening up I want it to be super duper blue so it looks like that purple is kind of keeping its color in this for now uh, let's get it all off the bottom okay uh, not really it's actually the purple is turning silver so we're gonna put this back in the microwave and then we're going to add probably bigger So because that small purple lost its color so fast we're gonna do throw in some big big purple and see how that does this stuff's done well in the past and we're just gonna take about uh, a little bit less because a little bit goes a long way with this big stuff you don't want to kill the color that's that's something big never want to kill the color in these kind of things a lot of it just stuck to the outside you hear that scraping that's uh scraping it off the side there we go I think maybe a touch more and then we'll reheat and shoot no none of these are exact measurements for me I just go by sight yeah well I can tell you one thing it's a lot darker than I'd like it to be and that's from adding the flake and I probably should have uh, yeah I probably shouldn't have gotten too much pigment but we have a blue purple so uh, and it's the rest of my plastistol so we're gonna heat this up and we're going to shoot it and I'm also gonna shoot it in the bug and maybe the crawl so you can see all three and we can tell uh, which one it looks better in and this and that and the other thing and we'll wrap up the video so you guys uh, we're gonna heat this up and then we'll shoot at the blue and the big purple flake which I am aptly naming the blue bandit we got that we need to inject extremely hot because we are running across three molds and this injector does not hold that much plastic so we're gonna inject we're gonna draw it up push it in this is the bug seven inch ribbon tail we got it coming out the top 
Finish it off with this 7 inch, ooh, 7 inch ribbon tail, ooh, a lot off the top. Fill up the sprues, go back in, redraw, and then into the Guggen Squad, crack and crawl, hold it for a second, top off that, and then back into the Pyrex, wipe that off, try to get that, there we go, pop that off so that doesn't solidify. And now we have uh, all three molds that are shot, the injector open, now we just got to wait for them to cure. So we will come back when these are set up and ready to open. Alright guys, so we just ran all three molds in this, what I thought was supposed to be blue, but it doesn't look like it's going to turn out that way. So this is the Guggen Squad Crack and Crawl. I shot all three molds just to see what they look like in them. So let's look at, yeah, there we go. We got the Guggen Squad Crack and Crawl right here. Take that off the sprue. Put that back in. So yeah, it came out, uh, it, it's blue, but it came out more purple than anything. It's like a purple pink. So there's the Crack and Crawl. Next we'll open the four inch beaver bug. Yeah, exactly. Same same exact color. Uh, I didn't expect there to be a different color between molds, but uh, there's this beaver bug. Put that back in the mold, slide that over, and now we get to the seven inch ribbon tail. And it looks like they it looks like they all shot pretty well. Granted, I uh, had to refill the injector, and then so we got a like a dark I wouldn't say it's a June bug but I also wouldn't say it's a blue I wouldn't say it's too purple but that flake definitely had an effect on the uh, color of the bait so with these every new color has to or is going to go through uh, pretty much an okay list uh, is this color okay to run in these baits I I can't tell you that these are going to make an appearance on the uh, Freshwater Bandits channel in 2021, but I can say it will be debated heavily. Uh, I was shooting for the Blue Bandit. This is actually my very first attempt, so we're going to tweak it, and obviously uh, I'm pretty sure the flake died. Pretty sure the flake died the color. So we have right here this uh, purple, pinkish color that we're going to have to debate on keeping or not. I know I'm kind of low, but I, I wanted to get the uh, all, all of the stuff in the shot as best as I could. So I, if I look a little goofy, it's for you guys. But uh, yeah, there you go. This is that color that I was going to call the Blue Bandit. However, this is just a new color. But that's the fun part about bait making is you never know. You expect one thing. And in the, in the Pyrex, I mean, not now since it's setting up, but in the Pyrex, I mean... Even this, you can see the difference between the colors, between the reheat and everything. And you expect one thing and, and it comes out totally different. Sometimes it's amazing and sometimes it sucks. But this is definitely going to be up for debate because I, uh, I see one style that I'm actually kind of digging in that color. But uh, there you go. That was supposed to be the blue band. It turned out purplish blue. There you have it guys, we did not run that many baits today on the account of A, we were running out of Plastisol, and B, uh, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a overlook of what we are doing now. Uh, these are these two are do-it molds from Tackle Warehouse, if you guys want to look at those, this one was off of Amazon, uh, it's a ceramic mold, they're all, they're all cheap molds, but they're all great molds. So of course, going down the list, we have our 4 inch beaver bug over here we have our seven inch ribbon tail worm uh, both of them tackle warehouse and then we have our uh, crawl down over here so this color that we're going with it's a I mean you can see it's a blue and especially let me see if I can hold it up to the light if we hold it up to the light you can see maybe not you can see it's blue so what we're gonna do is we're, we are going to decide uh, if we're going to keep these baits or which bait we're going to keep this color in rather. 
What I want to know is a name for this thing. If we keep one or more styles, I want you guys to go down to the comment section in this video or on my Facebook page where this video appears and comment a name for what you think this blue, this dark, dark bluish purple should be named. Uh, obviously we have the electric bandit here. That's a permanent part of the bandit lineup as of uh, a couple days ago this is a purple and blue purple and blue ribbon tail that we are calling the electric bandit this will be thrown next year I love that bait but go ahead and leave a comment uh, on this or the Facebook page or even on our Instagram uh, at freshwater bandits sorry at fresh underscore water underscore bandits on Instagram go ahead and leave a comment and tell me give me a name either on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. Uh, obviously, whatever we decide, we'll let you guys know. But while you're down there leaving comments on the uh, YouTube channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That helps me out a ton. And if you guys want to be updated every single time that a video of ours comes out, go ahead and click the notification bell. Your phone will go off. It'll say, ding, uh, the Freshwater Band has just posted another video. Go ahead and... Uh, Follow us on Instagram at fresh underscore water underscore bandits. And you can find me on Facebook at Brandon Loomis. And uh, obviously our Instagram is where we post our thumbnails and uh, videos and stuff like that. My Facebook is my personal Facebook, but I also use it for the bandits. And the YouTube channel is the Freshwater Bandits. It's what we're about. So if you guys want to see more of us, more of this, leave a comment. Tell us what you guys want to see. Give us a name for this specific color. We're not naming the bait specifically, we're naming the color. Uh, so go ahead and leave a comment down below for what you guys want to name that. Uh, also, I hope you guys are staying happy, staying healthy, and staying safe. If you guys want to see more bait stuff, let me know somehow. I will. We have two more molds coming, like I said, the swim bait and the Senko. We're hopefully going to get more Plastisol soon so we can keep shooting. But if you guys like this, like I said, go ahead and like the video. And I, that will tell me that you guys enjoyed this video and that we can keep doing this throughout the winter time while we're not fishing. But until next time, uh, until we get to shoot again and until I get to record again, I hope you guys never forget to keep cranking.